evening, everyone. Good evening, Dahi. Good evening. I didn't know I was coming straight in there, Gary. I, said, yeah. I said I'd surprise you this week. I said I'd give you a little surprise. I could have been doing anything. <laughs> you could have been doing anything, but thank God you weren't. Thankfully. Look, very excited for tonight. I'm feeling, I don't know about you, but uh, I'm feeling kind of nervous for the singers. I spoke to a good few during the week. And yeah. surprisingly, the fact that they're all singing tonight, that there's 12 singers, for some reason, that seems to be adding pressure. And they're all, in, well, not them all, there's some confident ones in there too, but there's some of them feeling some very them nervous. Sweating. Yeah. Yeah. But we're at the halfway mark, and in, a, in any game or any competition, halfway is where you can it's, see things change. Right. So we'll see what Brilliant. happens. So we'll see what happens. So you're all very welcome to week. Three week three nineties week tonight is our two hour nineties show and as David said all twelve contestants are going to sing so you are in for a treat Carmel Gunning can't wait to get her comments out and on these contestants well speaking on Carmel will we meet them so we're going to bring back three judges from last week so we have Anthony Carmel and Kevin. Hey. Hi guys. Hi guys. Hey, guys. How are we? we all good? good. All good. I I was, I'll tell you, it's just as well that you can't travel because if you could, I'm sure Gary wouldn't be with us tonight after winning two international awards in Australia. Well done, Gary. International Dance of the Year and International Choreographer of the Year as well. So, uh, more well international done. awards for Gary. Well done, Gary. Fair play. Thank you very Perfect. much. Thank you. Yeah. But listen, all we're good. not here about Gary, okay? So. <laughs> not all about Gary. <laughs> Why about Gary? Yeah. <laughs> well, look, I could win awards too. I just, I don't go into them. I don't enter. Well, Make well, fair. Now, Kevin, now that you speak of it, congratulations, Dahi. Dahi's baby, Remy, is 10 months old today. Hey, congratulations, hey. Dahi. Yes, Gary, get it right now. Bad godfather no, no. there. Bad godfather <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> Now, Gary, I we we ran we ran Sarah. We think she was doing a poor job, so we got rid of her. Uh, we have a substitute in. Who is it? So our and we didn't have to get a substitute. Sarah was brilliant, <laughs> but we decided that for two weeks each we would have somebody to represent the rest of the dance world. So we had Sarah representing hip hop, and we have this week a very talented young lady. Her passion for dance. You can feel it all around the west of Ireland. She is a very talented Shanos instructor and the owner of Broga Brewer. So give it up for Giva's own Emer Mulvey. Hello. Welcome, Emer. How are we? Good, oh, good, good. Emer. We're, we're, we're delighted to see you with us this evening. Have you been tuned in the last two weeks, I believe? I have. I've been watching you all. <laughs> so yeah, so you have your favourites already. I do, but I'll keep them quiet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Emer, have you got your scorecards ready for this evening? Have you got your scorecards ready? Do you want to show us? Very fancy ones now. She's going to put everyone else to shame. Look at that. Very good. Oh, yeah. No. Whoa. Nice. Oh, <laughs> So, Emer, how have you been coping through the lockdown? You've been doing some of your channels classes online? Yeah, a couple of them on in Zoom, but we are so fortunate to be back. I'm back to work the last Wednesday, just gone, and the kids, the excitement. Oh, my God, they've never ran into class so quick. It's outdoors, but they love yeah. dancing in the rain. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Good. So, Dahi, would you like to ask the judges anything before we kick off? Well, no, we, I think we... we... We have no questions for them, but we do have a couple of statements from the singers. As I said, I'm in full contact with them during the week. I'm like their liaison officer or something like that. But um, mm -hmm. one comment was for the judges to be more charitable. Now, I'm assuming what this person means is that you're you're more uh, generous with your with your thoughts, with your your comments, and of course with your scores. So, Anthony, do you think will we be more charitable this week? Hi, yeah, I think we can be. You know, I, I just remember you were kind of sort of saying that uh, maybe we were too soft initially. Yeah. So, I do, do think so. Do we follow the head boys or do we kind of go the head or the heart? What is it? Oh, always go with the heart. Always go with always the heart. Always go with the heart. Yeah, I think, you know, look, <laughs> I mean, it is, it's a big night for them all. So, look, best of luck to them. 
Yeah, it is. Um, I stick by my guns. I think we're, we should be, we have enough talent in Sligo. We should be looking for the best the of the best, and we should let them know if they're not that. Um, <laughs> Carmel, we have some um, people who have yes. harsh words for you. I'm not going to go into what they were saying, but they've even set a challenge to hear I you don't, singing. I don't mind. So oh maybe, goodness. yeah. Would we, uh, could we get you to perform a song? Not tonight, we won't have time tonight, but maybe before yeah, the end sure. of the show, you might show them how it's done. No way. Exactly. I Why would it No problem. <laughs> Actually, well, well, we'll see if they're happy with that. Now, Gary, I think we're ready for our first singer. I think we're ready. Judges, are you ready? We're, we've a little bit of a change in the format tonight for everybody that's watching. Because all 12 singers are singing, we are going to go to two judges each time for their comments, but we will get the four scores. But we don't want to be here until 12 o'clock tonight, keeping you on this long bank holiday weekend. So after each performer, we will hear from two of the guest judges with their very constructive, positive, charitable comments. Isn't that right, Brilliant. Kevin? Charitable, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. So here we go. Kicking off the 90s. I think you're going to love, love our first performer. So judges, here we go. Good. Next up, we have Saoirse. Hi, Saoirse. Hello, Mr. Carrot. How are you? I'm good. I'm excited to see what Cookie has done this week for 90s week. Are they doing well? Yeah, working really hard now. She's a bit nervous because it's been two weeks now since she last performed, but... She'll, she'll pull it out of the bag. She'll be working hard. Brilliant. So for 90s weeks here, so what is the cookie singing? The cookie singing, Man, I Feel Like a Woman. Let's go, judges. I'm going out tonight, I'm feeling all right Gonna let it all hang out Wanna make some noise, really raise my voice Yeah, I wanna scream and shout No inhibitions, make no conditions Get a little out of line Ain't gonna act politically correct I only wanna have a good time The best thing about it being a woman Is the prerogative to have a little fun Whoa, oh, go totally crazy Forget I'm a lady Men's shirt, short skirts Whoa, oh, really go wild and do it it is that I want oh, oh, get in the action, feel the attraction, do my care, do what I care, what oh, oh, wanna be free, yeah, feel the way I feel. Man, I feel like a woman. The girls need a break, tonight we're gonna take the chance to get out on the town. We don't need romance, we only wanna dance, we're gonna let her head hang down. The best thing about a being a woman, is the prerogative to have a little fun and whoa, oh, we're totally crazy, forget I'm a lady. Men's shirt, short skirts, whoa, oh, really go wild, yeah, doing it in style, whoa, oh, give me the action, feel the attraction, color my head, do what I did, whoa, oh, I want to see it, feel the way I feel, man, I feel like a woman, woo! Let's all join Cookie on the last verse. Let's go. Woo! The best thing about it being a woman is the prerogative to have a little fun. Fun. Woo! Whoa, oh, oh, we're totally crazy. 
crazy Forget I'm a cookie Men's shirts, short skirts Whoa, oh, oh, really go wild, yeah Doing it in style Whoa, oh, oh, get in the action Feel the attraction Color my head, do what I dare Whoa, oh, oh, I wanna be free Yeah, to feel the way I feel Man, I feel like a woman Totally crazy, yeah, yeah. Woo! Come on! Woo! Because I feel like a woman. Oh, a massive round of applause there. First, yeah, first yeah. of the night. Well done to the cookie. Kevin, we're going to come to you first, being head judge, kicking it off. What did you think? Yeah, a very, very brave choice of song. Again, a big party number. Come on over was the album, sort of over 40 million copies, Shania Twain, back in 1999. And I have to say, Cookie, last time out, did the Fab Four, and this time she did a my job, Shania Twain. That was Lovely. class. I enjoyed that. Nice. Aimer, yeah. Aimer, our guest judge this evening... Amber, what did you think of Cookie? Well, I thought she brought great energy anyway. <laughs> a great song to pick, one I love. Um, but it's very hard to, we'll say, breathing in my song. The breathing is very hard because there's so many words to get out. Brilliant. So do you think, Amber, that the Cookie could have a career in singing after this? Yes, yeah, so she worked on her breathing and her high notes. She'd make a great job of that song. Brilliant. Brilliant. So, judges, our scores for the cookie. Are we ready? First out of the bag to see yes. Johnny. What did you think of the cookie? What did I Eight. think? What did you think of the cookie? Cat. Cat. <laughs> <laughs> Die. <laughs> <Cookie. laughs> so, we'll stick to the host and so we let the judges yes. go. <laughs> Brilliant. Eight, so, six, seven. Eight, full of energy, six, guys. Eight and a seven. Sorry. Lovely. Was that 20? Yeah, full of energy. Full of energy. Yeah, it's, it's not yeah. all about energy. the boys. Full of energy. Entertained. 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 Yeah, true. That's true. The performance. As Kevin said last week, he wanted people to come and do their own versions of the songs. Yeah. And Cookie yeah, definitely and did definitely that one. That. Yeah, Cookie had it. <laughs> Lovely. So... Are we ready for contestant number two this evening? Let's get contestant number two up and ready. Here we go. This is actually the leader at the moment on top, the leaderboard. Here we go. So we're going to head back over now to Dean, and this time it's the ruler. Dean, how has the ruler done this week? The ruler has upped this game this week again, even though I didn't think it could up its game because it was smashed it last week. Well ahead of Peter Mooney now at this stage, we are brilliant. Uh, so I think the ruler might be between the ruler and the ice cream cone. I think we might have a winner. And this week, the is going to sing uh, Ronan Caton's You Say Nothing at All. It's amazing how you can speak right to my heart Without saying a word, you could light up the dark Cry as I may, I can never explain what I hear when you don't say a thing Smile on your face, lets me know that you need me There's a truth in your eyes, saying you'll never leave me The touch of your hand, says you'll catch me wherever I fall 
You say it best When you say nothing at all All day long I can hear people talking out loud When you hold me near, you drown out the crowd Try as they may, they can never define What's been said between your heart and mine The smile on your face lets me know that you need me There's a truth in your eyes saying you'll never leave me The touch of your hand says you'll catch me wherever I fall Say it best when you say nothing at all. The smile on your face lets me know. There's a truth in your eyes Saying you'll never leave me Touch of your hand Says you'll catch me Wherever I fall You say it best When you say nothing at all You say it best when you say nothing at all. You say it best when you say nothing at all. A smile on your face, the truth in your eyes, the touch of your hand lets me know that you need me. You say it best when you say nothing at all. You say it best when you say nothing at all. Well done to the ruler. Uh, we're yeah. going to go to Anthony. Do you think that was a, a good enough performance from the ruler to keep him on top of? On top of the leaderboard. I think definitely the ruler is up there. Um, I sang The Star is Born last week. And I have to say, I probably preferred last week's song a little bit more than this yeah. week. I just think it just wasn't as good this week. But I do think, I do love the ruler. I just think he really is going to be up there at the end of it. There's no doubt about it. Was kind it. Of a, quite as good as last week. Yeah, I, I, I'd agree with you. It definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Carmel, are you ready, Carmel? What did you think of the ruler this week? Oh, I've got Carmel. Any fault. I couldn't find any fault with him. It was perfect. It was in tune. You enjoyed that, Carmel. Perfect. perfect. I like so that. So the timing was good and it sounded good. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. No fault with that at all. Lovely. Nice. So, judges, your scores. I think by the end of the night, David, the, the dotty, they'll have them. Um, the judges will have went, oh, there's a big one. They'll have loosened up with the yeah. comments. Nine from Emer, ten from Carmel, eight from Anthony, and six from Kevin. I think I'd be leaning towards Kevin's one there if I was a judge. I think, <laughs> <laughs> I think Car Carmel... I, I don't know now. <laughs> Carmel, you're setting the bar very high at the start there. Mm. All right. You're setting mm. you set the bar very high at the start. Yeah, I, I like that. I like him. If if he was if he wasn't very good, I'd have set it very low. 
Hundred percent, hundred percent. Brilliant. So our third contestant this evening. Are we ready for our third contestant? Lovely. Oh, now we're going back over to La Grazia. How are you doing? I'm great, Mr. Carrot. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm very excited to see how the pickle is doing this week. Are they working well? The pickle is doing so well. Really coming along. I think that the pickle has kind of found their niche now. So I'm really excited for you to hear them. Brilliant. So what is the pickle singing this week? The pickle is singing Promise Me by Beverly Craven. It's going to be really beautiful now. I'm really looking forward to it. I admire that before. I admire that performance from Pickle. Uh, ruler for me played it too safe tonight. Going on the back of last week's performance, played it far too safe. Doing a song from Ronan Keaton. No, no real high ones in it compared to that one. That one was very yeah. high, and I think Pickle yeah. did very well. A lot more confident this week from Pickle. Uh, a vast improvement. Didn't play it safe at all and pushed out the boat and deserves big marks. 
Yeah. Wow. I was <laughs> nice. I was I wasn't expecting that, Kevin. But uh, I'm glad you um, brought it back there to the ruler. I'd be in agreement with you there. Um, but yeah, the pickle. I don't know. Doesn't matter what I think, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> David is dying to give his opinion on these singers. Carmen, Carmen, when yeah. in rehearsals, I I said to La Grazia that I thought the pickle actually sounded quite like the original artist. What do you think of the pickle this week? Oh, uh, he much improved actually. Mm. <laughs> much improved. I liked his the performance very yeah. much. I'm just reading a few comments there that the judges seem very subdued, seem very yeah. subdued this evening. So judges, uh, the, the, judges, the reason we are subdued, the reason we are subdued, <laughs> so far, out of the three tunes we've been given, two of them are like very, very slow. Am I right, Dottie? Yeah. You're 100% right, Kevin. Um, look, at, I, I, I know some of the songs that are coming up and we might be out of the chairs we might be up dancing yet, so don't... Fingers crossed. Good. Yeah. Good, good, good. If you have it, yeah. boil the kettle, good, good. put on the coffee, get it into you, we'll be ready to go. <laughs> but I don't know no, if I have them to do. I think, they're, I think they're being a little bit too nice. Maybe I shouldn't have told them that the contestants were looking for more yeah, charitable uh, numbers. No, I think, I think criticize, numbers. criticize. They'll only get better with criticism. They'll only get better. Yeah. So, judges, the scores. I agree. And and, and, and and before you go, Gary, proof in the pudding, because last week I was critical of Pickle, and this week they have improved and they deserve the, the praise. Pickle is a star this week. A six from Emer, a seven from Carmel, a seven from Anthony, and a nine from Kevin. Well done, Pickle. Lovely for the Pickle. Brilliant. So, our next contestant, are we ready? Let's see, I think... Yes, we have got the... We're going to head over now to Tabby to see how French fries has done on this week. Tabby, how are French fries doing? Are they doing well? French fries are flying. They're going to be unbelievable. They're going to do in the river by Garth Brooks, so um, I'm sure they're going to be brilliant. Lovely. So very tasty. A tasty treat for everyone, Tabby. <laughs> yeah, they're going to be a chip off the old block. You know a dream is like a river Ever changing as it flows And the dream is just a vessel That must follow where it goes Trying to learn from what's behind you You never know in what sense though it Makes each day a constant battle Just to stay between the shore and I will sail my best Till the river runs dry Like a bird upon the wind These waters are my sky I'll never reach my destination If I never try So I will sail my best Till the river runs dry Too many times we stand aside Let the water slip away To what we put off till tomorrow It has now become today So don't you set upon the shoreline And say you're satisfied Or choose to chance the rapids Or dare to dance that time and I will sail my best Till the river runs dry Like a bird upon the wind and These waters are my sky I'll never reach my destination If I never try So I will sail my best Till the river runs dry and there's bound to be rougher waters And I know I'll take some falls But with the good Lord as my captain 
I can make it through them all And I will sail my vessel Till the river runs the right Like a bird upon the wind These waters are my sky I'll never reach my destination If I never try So I will sail my vessel Till the river runs dry I will sail my vessel Till the river runs dry Like a bird upon the wind These waters are my sky I'll never reach my destination If I never try So I will sail my vessel Till the river runs dry. Woo! You won't cry with that. Very <laughs> <laughs> uh, good. All right, so we'll go to uh, Carmen. I think that was closer to your kind of music, is it? Did like it impress that. you? Uh, yeah. Did it go up? In, did it go up in key in, in the middle of the song? Couldn't tell you. I think he did, Carmel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, he, still kept, he still kept it uh, intact, yeah, which, which was good. good. I thought that was lovely. Good nice. stuff. Eamor, what did you make of French fries this week? I thought super song choice. Not an easy one to sing. Yeah. But I did notice a few. Um, oh, he was a little, French fries a little bit off time at the beginning in regards to with the backing track. So maybe to work on that with his mentor for next week. Lovely, Emer. We'll quickly go to Anthony, and it goes back to what Kevin said about the songs being a little bit slow. They all yeah. seem to be keeping it safe with all these ballads. Yeah, I have to say, big fan of Garrett Brooks. Uh, a little bit slow, but big improvement from two weeks ago. Um, what do you sing? Don't go breaking my heart two weeks ago, and I think this is a much better mm. song for French fries. Um, and you can see that there's the touch of tabby coming in there at the end with a bit of showmanship there. So, <laughs> Very good. Good. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so keep it up, tabby. <laughs> Brilliant. So judges, the scores for French fries. The scores for French fries. Six, an eight, eight, an eight nine. Eight, a nine from Caramel, a six from Anthony, and an eight from Kevin. Brilliant, brilliant, good, nice one. So French fries, French fries well, always makes French me fries. hungry. French fries always makes me hungry. So here we go, our next contestant, our next contestant this evening. Here we go. We're heading over to Michelle. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Mr. Carrot. How are you today? Oh. I'm good. I'm excited to see what you've done this week with cherry pie. Are you doing well? Well, Cherry Pie has been working so, so hard. She really wants to climb up that leaderboard a little bit. So, yeah, you're really going to enjoy this one this evening. Brilliant. So for 90s week, Michelle, what is the Cherry Pie singing? Cherry Pie is singing one of my absolute favourites, which is the theme tune to Friends, and I'll be there for you. So no one told you life was gonna be this way Your job's a joke, you're broke, your love life's the whole way It's like you're always stuck in second gear When it hasn't been your day, your week, your month, or even your year But I'll be there for you When the rain starts to pour, I'll be there for you like you've been there before, I'll be there for you, cause you're there for me too. No one could ever know me, no one could ever see me, seems you're the only one who knows what it's like to be me. Someone to face the day with, make it through all the rest with, someone I'll always love with. Even at my worst, I'm best with you, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Like you're always stuck in second gear When it hasn't been your day, your week, your month, or even your year But I'll be there for you When the rain starts to pour, I'll be there for you Like I've been there before, I'll be there for you Cause you're there for me too all right the cherry pie well done kevin i'm going to come to you first i want to ask you are you a friends fan uh not of the tv show i, I, well, I kind of was on in the background uh, back in the 90s when i was a student in dublin but i didn't play that song at the gigs i was doing in dublin at the time and it was a huge yeah. floor filler well, I'll it tell is. you one thing. I'm glad that Cherry. I'm glad Cherry Pie wasn't singing it. Ooh! <laughs> but Kevin, will you be yeah, giving any points for the fact of taking on such an iconic song like that? The bravery and taking on it. Uh, no, no. <laughs> uh, for the simple fact, it, it sounded to me like she, she had the words in front of her, but she either knew the song or couldn't keep up with it. Because she was just firing out the words to get them out, <clears throat> and sometimes she ended up being ahead, and other times behind. It was kind of like it was like uh, I suppose the surf on a windy day out in Strand Hill. <laughs> 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 Carmel, what did you think of Cherry Pie? And you know, I think Cherry Pie has a kind of a sweet voice. It's not the strongest voice, but I think I think that was. I don't think that was too bad. Wasn't too bad. It was no flop out in the last performance that Cherry Pie gave. I thought. Um, well, it shows. Uh, I give her credit for that. Much, much better than than the last time. I enjoyed that. Nice one. Brilliant. So Cherry Pie is on the way up. Judges, I think so. Scores, yeah. Your scores for our lovely little Cherry Pie. <laughs> Uh, a six from Inger. Six. A four from Anthony. Is that a seven, um, Carmen, or a nine? Yeah. A seven. seven. A seven from Carmen and a three from Kevin. I, I think the cherry pie this, might just need help with her this song cherry pie selection. Is going to be hunting Kevin Blessing down. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin the Blessing good, is the taking good thing no prisoners. The good thing is, Gary. She can watch it back herself and see, am I right? <laughs> oh, oh. Okay. Simon uh, Cowell, we have our Simon. The main <laughs> thing is that you improved from the last time. Exactly. Carmel has turned, it seems like the tables have turned now. Carmel's yeah. sweetness and Kevin now is getting has a improved. Bit more edgy. It has improved. Good. <laughs> <laughs> right now sadly i'm after getting word because the the contestants are all relying on wi-fi to broadcast to us to sing their songs sadly the wi-fi this today for the the owl isn't allowing them to join us this evening so sadly the owl cannot perform this evening so we're going to have to maybe come back to the owl or see what will maybe by the end of the show the wi-fi will have got better um but Sadly, the owl can't join us this evening. And I know that there's a lot of people out there raging because they were loving the owl. They loved the hoot and owl, but sadly this evening they can't be with us. So that means that we are actually at the halfway point because the owl would have been our <clears throat> sixth contestant. So judges, it's time for our interval act. Emer, have you got your favourite so far this evening? Well, uh, I think the ruler is my favourite so far. Nice. Dahi? Well, I'd be, I'd be more interested in what you're hoping to see. So, Anthony, I might go to you. Who are you looking forward to seeing in the in the second half? Um, who would I scored high the last time? Um, Braid. I'm looking forward to seeing Braid. I think we all are. We all yeah. are. You know, yeah, yeah. I liked, I liked the bread, so I'm waiting for uh, something good. Yeah, very good. Yeah. And Carmen, I'm going to hit you with the same question. Who are you looking forward to seeing? 
I'm, not, I'm afraid it has to be bread as well. Well, the bread is out in front. We all know our, our judge's favourite. <laughs> and Kevin. But well, you know something, Di, we're out in force. This, we're out in force this evening. There's three game of people there now on the panel. Four. Is it? Four, four of us in Ireland. We're taking over. Stop. 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 <laughs> Gary, who's, I, per, who's performing for us? Well, I think Kevin was actually trying to let us know that he's really looking forward to seeing the duck. Very good. I think he was quacking. Am I right, Kevin? That's it, yeah. Gary. You have it on one, yeah? <laughs> See, you know, Very good. Yeah. yeah, that's the one I like. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. So, judges, enjoy your break. We'll be back in about 15 minutes. And everybody yeah. that's at home, enjoy this week's interval act comes from Dean Mahan. Dean Mahan has joined us this evening for a live performance. So judges, we'll see you very soon. Hey guys. Very subdued judges this evening. Ah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ring them now. I know. We, yeah. Uh, into the I group, think... ring them and say, let the... Let, the, um, let it fly. Let it fly and just speak your mind and they're not going to be hurt. I think they're, they're feeling that because they don't know who they're talking to or who they're talking about, they're a little bit more restrictive. Yeah. So the restrictions are lifting. They're lifting here in Ireland. Lift them here in this show. Is my I think message the fact as well that each week in the Sligo Weekender, it's publicly noted what they're saying, that they're feeling a little bit uncomfortable this week. But guess what? Don't worry. Don't worry. Let fly. Well, all, all our judges are used to being in the public eye. They're all familiar faces from all around Sligo and beyond. So I'd be disappointed if that was holding them back. Now, it probably is. It could be contributing. But again, I'm going to have a word with them. I'll ring them all separately. I'll tell them what's what. A good and we will look for, break. for more more constructive criticism because, you know, I I'm, have yet to be impressed. Well, and on that note... We'll let Dean impress you, Dahi. See you soon. He, he certainly will. This man, if you haven't seen this man before, you're going to be impressed. Dean is phenomenal. Hey, everyone. To the Northwest Hospice Virtual Superstar. My name is Dean Mann, and I'm going to sing a few tunes and keep you entertained. So, um, first off, I'd like to thank uh, Gary and Dahi for having me and for putting this on Fair Play to you, lads, and giving your time for such a good cause. And a wordy cause, obviously. And obviously, the judges, fair play to you for giving your time every week, and the mentors, too, for our, our little bit we're doing. And of course, the contestants for learning the songs and giving it their all and having a bit of crack, as now it's all about. So, um, I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to sing a few songs for you. I couldn't decide on what song to sing, so I'm going to do like a melody or a, a mega mix or a mashup or whatever we want to call it. So, here we go.
doesn't give a damn about me Cause I'm just a cheating
Rock your body up Everybody up Rock your body right Back streets back All right All right Oh my God, I'm back again For a sister make you see I'm gonna bring the flavor and I'll show you how Am I original? Yeah. Am I the only one? Yeah. Am I sexual? No, no. Am I ever feeling even better? I can buy the night.
very much, guys. I hope you enjoyed that if you're still there. Um, God bless the luck to the ruler and the ice cream cone this week. So, best of luck to everybody, guys. Thank you for doing it. Fair bit to all the contestants. So, I'll see you soon. Thanks very much. That's how you do the 90s. Uh, look, Garrett, you mightn't have seen Dean perform. I know Dean, and uh, I've had the pleasure of sitting in front of him um, many times, and it's one thing I miss from lockdown. Seriously, literally just ran downstairs saying to me, he's phenomenal, I miss him. <laughs> uh, so, Dean, I don't know if you're watching, I'm sure, I'm sure you are. That was phenomenal. You are phenomenal. i seen a comment coming in there, from someone saying he could be an excuse for them to come back to Ireland at some stage. To whoever put in that comment, if all you do is get on a plane from wherever you are, fly to Sligo. Australia, Australia, Kayleen in so Australia. From Australia, fly to Sligo or fly to Dublin, get a bus down to, to Sligo on a Sunday, go into Fiddlers on a Sunday and sit for a couple <laughs> of hours and listen to him and go back to Australia. You will have a happy trip because Dottie, he is would you, would you be willing? Would you be willing to have Kayleen in your house for a week or two? I will accommodate anyone who wants to sit in front of Dean Mahan performing because it is... It, look, at, I, I know we're, we're kind of messing now, but all joking aside, yeah, Dean no, it's is, great. He's, he's a fantastic performer. A few of my friends have asked me for um, for who um, who would I get to sing at their, at their wedding reception or who could I recommend? And every time... Top of the list, Dean Mahan. So anyone who hasn't seen him perform, hopefully we get back to some level of normality and we get back in front of the likes of Dean, Tabby, I know Peter will be coming up soon as well. But uh, Dean, fantastic. I can't say I think enough. that means Dottie likes Dean. But that... I am a huge fan <laughs> and of that Dean doesn't, That doesn't take from all of the mentors because all of them are equally exceptional in all of their own ways. But tonight, obviously, Dean stole the show so thank you dean we're going to bring back in our judges let's see how they got on with bopping around to dean judges yeah, how are we great <laughs> kevin is on the popcorn <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, kid. i think as dahi said there dean is just one of those guys that rocks the place doesn't he like it's the one thing i was just saying we wiped downstairs you really do miss that fiddlers and listen to him play yeah. and dahi you're dead right he just well, he has one thing, like, there, Sligo is absolutely, we're blessed with a lot of things, but one thing we're massively blessed with is singers and yeah. talent. Yeah. But I, mm. one thing I know is when I'm walking around town and we're having tears and we're wondering where we're going and you'll hear singing and you'll be trying to deck who it is. You know Dean's voice from yeah. a mile away. Yeah. He's so unique. and Absolutely. Very unique. Brilliant. Brilliant. Great performer. Emer, did you enjoy Dean? Did you enjoy Dean's set this evening? I really did, and I think everyone in the country is really using the live music scene now, yeah. as well as dancing as well. Exactly. Yeah. Carmel. Oh, Carmel. No, you're there, Carmel. Can you no, hear? Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me, Carmel. No. Um. I have some messenger. When Carmel. I go out and what? come back. Oh, no, you're there. You're there, Carmel. You're there. And go out of it and come back. No, no there we are. <laughs> Stay. Don't move. Stop. <laughs> oh, no. Maybe she mightn't actually be able to hear it. Might have just yeah. go in and just come while, back for yeah. a second. While we're waiting for Carmel to come back, anyone who doesn't know Dean and like that and would like to see him, you can follow his page, Dino Shambino Music. And also... Oh. He's, he's continued doing a lot of live stuff through Fiddlers, through The Blind Tiger, and the Lilies as well, I think. The, the pubs and the clubs that he does play with. He's been fairly um, fairly active online, so fair play to him for that. And if you want to see him, tune into any of them pages and you will see him. Lovely. So Carmel is still having a little bit of a technical issue for a second. Oh, I think she's back. Did the coverage in Giva isn't great, you see? No, we've got wild <laughs> coverage in Giva. We'd have to get on to the politicians. Mm. This Imagine crack isn't working for everyone. <laughs> so, Kevin, you're joining us this evening. This is your last week with us this evening. 
It's been a pleasure having us. Have, have you enjoyed yourself before we get Carmel back in? I have had a wonderful time. Uh, it's been great crack. And again, just to emphasize and say, Di and David, the amount of work that you put into this is unbelievable. And I think you do deserve a world of credit for it. And I'm looking forward to passing on the baton to Marion Fitzgerald to rattle it on for the final three. Exactly. And we had we actually had someone, I think it was actually Gronia from La Grazia put in a comment earlier on asking what we were at at the minute. So at the minute, we're at 4,400 euro for the Northwest Hospice. So Brilliant. that is Brilliant. amazing. Brilliant. And obviously, don't forget, we're only on week three. We've got three more weeks to go. Um, so if you have any friends that you want to join now, some people, what you're doing is you're going into the group, hitting the invite button and inviting 24, 25 people. But that doesn't work because then they get no notification about what it is or that it's, you know, um, a pay-per-view event for um, the Northwest Hospital. So you're better off if you tag them in some of the posts that we put up with the ticket details or even send them a little message if you want them to be able to join. I think Carmel is back. Carmel is back. Is she? Hello, Carmel. Good. Did I miss a lot of things there? Were you instructions? Were you giving instructions or what? No, we're all good. I was Ooh. just telling them. Carmen was just giving out about you. <laughs> was not, Carmel. Don't oh, even. Yeah. Don't even. be nothing new. Exactly. I was just telling everybody, anybody that's watching, if they want to invite friends or family or neighbours to join it, rather than just click the invite button, just send them a message with the link for the tickets or tag them in some of the posts that we're putting up throughout the week. That's probably the best way to get the information. Otherwise, they won't know. Are we ready for the next contestant? I think you're going to love this one. Judges, are we ready? We're ready. Yeah, we are. Let's go. <laughs> and we've got a Yay. stable connection now in Diva Carmel Gunning. We're ready to go. Absolutely. Brilliant. Back with a bang. <laughs> 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 So we're heading back over to Michelle, this time to see how the sheep is doing. Michelle, has the sheep been working hard this week? Well, I'll tell you, the sheep is probably the hard, most hard-working member of the team that you have. That man is in it to win it. Brilliant. So what is the sheep taking on this week? Now, the sheep this week decided that he was going to stay local and pick something from Sligo. So he picked... When you're looking like that from Westlife. When you're looking like that, 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 oh yeah, yeah. She's a five foot ten and tattooed and bambi eyes. Everybody who's staring wouldn't believe that this girl was mine. I should have known I was wrong when I left her for a life in pity, but they say you never miss the water until it's gone. Yeah, guess I fail to love you and just take it. Tonight, am I supposed to leave you now? When you look at like that, I can't believe what I just gave away. Now I can't take it back. I don't want to get lost. I don't want to live my life without you. Am I supposed to leave you now? When you look at like all dressed up for glamour and rock and roll wanna squeeze a real tight get out of this place if only i could take control i could take control but she's out of my reach forever and just a week ago she lied next to me so ironic how i had to lose just to see because i failed to love you and just taking it out tonight Am I supposed to leave you now? When you're looking like that Can't believe what I just gave away now I can't take it back I don't want to get lost I don't want to live my life without you Am I supposed to leave 
with you now When you're looking like that Am I supposed to leave you now When you're looking like that I can't believe what I just gave away now I can't take it back I don't want to get lost I don't want to live my life without you Am I supposed to leave you now When you're looking like that How am I supposed to leave you When you're looking like that There we have it. Yeah. The first one in the second half, the shape. Mm. And Amer, we're gonna go to you. Obviously, you know the song. Did you recognize it? <laughs> yeah, I knew it was a long one. Like. I thought it was a really good performance. It's very hard to not get up and dance there. We'll have to get the shoes for you doing a bit of head popping <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Well, look, I don't, I don't mind telling you. I the sheep made himself known to me during the week, and I can tell you that he is a massive fan of Westlife. He's like a a twelve year old girl when it comes to Westlife. He just loves them. So he's delighted to be able to perform their song. But uh, Gary, who are we going to next? Brilliant. Well, I think now because the party feels like it started. Kevin, what did you make of the sheep? Uh, the Sheep did very well. Very hard song to take on. It took five of them to sing that one in the group uh, <laughs> 20 years ago. And sometimes it was only three of them singing. Uh, <laughs> well, that's, well, I'd say if you were to ask, sometimes only two of them were singing. Two of them? Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> oh, Kevin. <laughs> so you enjoyed that, Kevin? Uh, no, I... I I enjoyed the sheep from 20 years ago. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> Brilliant. So, judges, the scores for the sheep will be taken over Sligo and Westlife will be no more with the sheep. We've got an eight and an ace. Two eights, three eights, four eights. And another eight and another eight. Brilliant. Well done to the sheep. Very well done. Nice Can I one. just say that, uh, Carmel, the sheep took serious issue with you last week. <laughs> I think you are well, very unfair. He, he has improved immensely this week. Yeah. Well oh, done, Carmel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Congratulations for me. Congratulations for me. Well yeah. done. Really good. Brilliant. He'd be happy That's with all, all of his heads. Brilliant. So are we ready for the next contestant? Here we go. After the sheep. We have the Magic to La Grazia. How are you doing? Are you excited to hear the mushroom? We are. This is such an exciting week having two of our singers singing for you. It's going to be so good. Yeah, you've been very busy. And is the mushroom, do you think the mushroom could win the show? I don't know. The mushroom's a bit of a scatterbrain, to be honest. <laughs> and I'm sure you'll, you'll see what we mean later. But uh, we still think they're in, they're in with a shout. Good potential. I do feel like the pickle might have worked a little bit harder this week for us. Mm -hmm. But, you know, but the mushroom, you know, they're doing good too. They'll get there. So what is the confused mushroom singing for 90s week? Uh, it's It must have been loved by Roxette. Yes. <laughs> It must have been love But it's over now Lay a whisper On my pillow Leave the winter On the ground I wake up lonely 
Is there a silence in the bedroom and all around? Touch me now. I close my eyes and dream away. It must have been love, but it's over now. It must have been good, but I lost it somehow. It must have been love, but it's over now. From the moment we touched, till the time had run out. Make believing, we're together. That I'm sheltered by your heart But in and outside I turn to water Like a teardrop In your palm And it's a hot Winter's day I dream away It must have been love, but it's over now. It was all that I wanted, now I'm living without. It must have been love, but it's over now. It's where the water flows. It's where the wind blows. It must have been love, but it's over now. It must have been good, but I lost it somehow. It must have been love, but it's over now. From the moment we touched, till the time had run out. Yeah, it must have been love, but it's over now. It was all that I wanted Now I'm living without It must have been love But it's over now It's where the water flows It's where the wind blows Ooh. It must have been love. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. <laughs> well done, the mushroom. I suppose that that was probably one of the most anticipated performances, taking into account what went on during the week. Um, we were unsure of whether they could sing that song because there was a lot of confusion as to whether it met the criteria of our theme for the week, which is 90s. But thankfully, we had our jukebox, Kevin Blessing, on hand to confirm that it did meet the criteria. So, Kevin, are you glad that they stuck with that song and did they do it justice? Yeah, you're right, David. That song was a big, big hit. 31 years ago, not 20, as I said about the last song. Uh, and I have to say, it must have been the rain falling down on the mushroom there. I never heard Ian so happy singing that song in my life. It's taken from the soundtrack to the movie, one of the biggest uh, romantic films of all time, Pretty Woman. Uh, that summer, that song got to number three. Uh, what set, of course, did the original, and uh, I have to say, I just thought it was hilarious because talk about an interpretation of a song. Mushroom has taken it to a whole new level. Caramel, hilarious. You, seem really enjoy, you seem to really enjoy that caramel. Oh, that was the worst ever. <laughs> <laughs> there, 
is the caramel that I want. Yeah, give me the caramel. Go on, caramel. Funny thing is, um, funny thing is that um, uh, the rhythm wasn't too bad, but it was just out of out of tune. It was cash. Tell us how bad it was. Absolutely. If you say so, yes. <laughs> Would you go as far as saying, Carmen, it was the worst thing you've ever heard in your life? I just have to say it. Is. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, we'll get the judges' scores. Judges, oh, yeah. scores for the confused, not so magic mushroom this week. A three, three. from Carmel, three, four. a four from Emer, a three from Anthony, and a three from Kevin. Unlucky 13. Unlucky 13. Poor Mushroom. I feel sorry for him. Well, sure, look, things can only get better. Isn't that right, Anthony Deemer? No, not with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully. Here we Sorry, go. Morgan, you said it didn't really suit him. No. Now we're going to head over to Dean and the ice cream cone. How are you doing, Dean? I'm doing brilliantly. I'm um, great. This the weather is brilliant again this week. Um, must be uh, good luck with the virtual superstar. The ice cream cone is doing deadly this week, practicing its skills and uh, doing all his tonic salt and all that crack. So uh, I'm really proud of ice cream cone this week. Brilliant. So is the ice, do you think the ice cream cone could win the show? I definitely do. I definitely do. So what is the ice cream cone singing for 90s week, Dean? Uh, don't look back in anger this week by your for Oasis. Slip inside the eye of your mind. Don't you know you might find a better place to play? You said that you'd never be all the things that you see slowly fade away. So I start a revolution from my bed. Cause you said the brains I had went to my head. Step outside, summer times in bloom. Stand up beside the fireplace. Take that look from off your face. You ain't ever gonna burn my heart out. And so Sally can wait. She knows it's too late as we're walking on by. Her soul slides away. But don't look back in anger, I heard you say. Take me to the place where you go, where nobody knows, if it's not all day. Please don't put your life in the hands of a rock and roll band who we'll throw it all away. Gonna start a revolution from my bed. Cause you said the brains I had went to my head Step outside, summer times in blue Stand up beside the fireplace Take that look from off your face You ain't ever gonna burn my heart out And so Sally can wait She knows it's too late As she's walking on by 
my soul slides away. But don't look back in anger, I heard you say. Right, Anthony, we're going to come to you first. What did you think of that ice cream? Um, it's a big song. I think it's a yeah. hard song to sing, you know. Um, don't know, did it really soon, but a uh, good performance, yeah. Yeah, good performance, but I say it is a hard song to sing, like, you know, brilliant band, brilliant song. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I, th- I think it is It is hard to get the song right, isn't it? Yeah, it is, you know, and especially a big song like that. It's very hard to get it right. Yeah, you know? We've seen some, you know, playing it safe, you know, yeah. and then we had really others. Good effort. You know, it is yeah. a hard song, so good effort, you know. Emer, what did you think of the ice cream cone? Did you enjoy it or not so much? I did. I enjoyed the performance, but I definitely think he did play it safe. The ice cream cone played it safe. In my mind, that he, you know, the ice cream cone could really push the boat out next week and try something a little out of the comfort zone. Yeah, a bit lively, something a bit of almost. Yeah, a little bit of jazz in it, yeah. Nice one, nice one. So, judges, the score is for the ice cream cone. Now, don't forget, the ice cream cone is actually in third place at the minute. Um, so, the scores this week, they will be detrimental to the leaderboard. Wow, nine Carmen, years of nine. Carmen, he was impressed. Carmen's a nine. Kevin is a nine. Anthony's a seven. And Emer's an eight. Jeez, that ice cream cone is going to be jumping up and down at home. The, the ice cream at the top will fall off. <laughs> <laughs> that happened to me once before, Carmel. Do you know that? I got an ice cream cone in Ballasad Air, and the ice cream fell off the top of it before I got near it. <laughs> Fun fact. My mother is at home now laughing in the house thinking, what the ever? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Here we go. Our next contestant. Are we ready? Here we go. This is one of the ones you've all been waiting for. Here we go. So we're going back over to Saoirse, this time to Bread. Saoirse, how is Bread doing? Oh, the bread's doing very well now. He's been practicing very hard. He got great comments and scores last week, so his confidence has skyrocketed. But it could take, it's, you know, it'd be hard to follow up from that to try and get them good scores again, but he's been working hard. Brilliant, so fingers crossed. So what is the bread singing for 90s week, Saoirse? The bread singing One Moment in Time. to be a day to give the best of me I only want but not alone my finest day is yet unknown I broke my heart for every day to taste the sweet I face the pain, I rise and fall, yet through it all, this much remains. I want one more living time, when I'm more than I thought I could be. When all of my dreams are a heartbeat away And the answers are all up to me Give me one moment in time When I'm racing with destiny of time I will feel I will feel eternity I've lived to be the very
very best I want it all No time for less I've laid the plans Now lay the chance Here in my hands Give me one moment in time When I'm more than I thought I could be When all of my dreams are a heart beat away And the answers are all up to me Give me one moment in time When I'm racing with destiny Then in that one moment of time I will feel, I will feel Eternity Your winner for a lifetime If you choose that one moment in time Make it time Give me one moment in time When I'm racing with destiny Then in that one moment of time I will be, I will be what you were laughing at I, but that was brilliant i was well, lost let, let's i was find lost out. in the moment there i don't know what the rest see kevin we're gonna to go to you were you lost with me uh, uh no i remember that song well it was the uh whitney houston uh from back in a certain year for the seoul olympics it was a theme song of the olympics a big big song to try and come out and sing and i think it was just didn't really suit the bread this week now. But do you not feel that he stripped it back and kept it nice and low to suit himself? <laughs> <laughs> no. Are you on about the loaf or are you on about the song? <laughs> Carmel, Carmel, what did you make of our slice of bread? Last week, the bread gave us a whole load of tricks and made up their own lyrics. What did you think this week? Disappointing this week. Disappointing. Um, well, I suppose I, I could say a lot of things, but I, I suppose a um, little say bit. All. Say them all, Carol. Let loose. Say them all. Yeah, he uh, sometimes didn't keep in time and sometimes went off key. Sorry now, Brad, but that's what I gathered from you. <laughs> Disappointing. Brilliant. Disappointing. That's what. Disappointing. So, judges, the score is for bread. Bread this week. Last week, one of the favourites. Oh, not too bad. So, five from Anthony, a five from Emer. Is that a seven, Carmel? Yeah. A seven oh, and a six. <laughs> <laughs> not that disappointing. It's not, it's not really going on what you were saying, is it? <laughs> <laughs> But I'm the judge. Huh? Exactly. You tell them, Carmen. You let them have it. <laughs> okay, Carmen. <laughs> Brilliant. So, are we ready for the next... As I say, I could have said a lot more things as to why I said seven, but there's no time. <laughs> Carmen, we will make time. You need to explain yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Are we ready for our next contestant this evening? We're going to head back over now to Tabby. And this time Tabby has got the garlic. Tabby, how is the garlic doing? Are they doing well this week? 
Oh, Garlic are doing, they're doing absolutely brilliant. And they're going to be doing uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. So the, that's going to be, uh, it's going to be one to watch. Are they going to be able to hit all the high notes, Tabby? Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Garlic's great for your voice. They're going to be up there. They're going to be, they'll be so high. It'll be like, you know, you'll need special hearing to be able to hear them. <laughs> brilliant. So over to Garlic. Mamma mia, mamma mia, let me go. For me, for me, for me. Give it up. So you think you can stun me and spit in my eye? So you think you can love me and leave me to die? Just gotta get out, just gotta get right out of here. Nothing really matters, anyone can see. Nothing really matters, nothing really matters to 
Anthony, I'm going to come to you first. Was that the right flavour for you? It was really <laughs> great flavour to it. I have to say, it was really entertaining. You can see the tabby influence, can't you? <laughs> it's no doubt. You know, sometimes you don't have to be the greatest singer, but if you can entertain, you can get the crowd going. And I was entertained by that, I have to say. I just enjoyed it. The notes always didn't hit right, but look, at it was entertainment in it. There you are. We call that the X Factor, I think. Yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Amor, did you enjoy that? There was highs, there was lows, there was accents, there was there was everything. What did you make of that? Like a good That's dance singer. Yeah. All I like to think about was the Muppets version and how the singing was going. <laughs> uh, but I thought uh, it was very, very entertaining and the you know, gave it socks, absolute socks. Yeah. Loved it. Loved yeah. it. Brilliant. So, judges, the scores for our garlic. I felt like I was at, I was in a big theatre and a big massive performance. A nine from Caramel, a nine from Anthony, a nine from nine all round. Nine, nines, all nines. Nine, we'll call that a full house. Six. Call it a full, almost perfect. If that garlic now could peel yeah. away another little layer, it'll be perfect. Absolutely perfect. So, judges, are we ready? Kevin, this is the one you were waiting for. <laughs> yeah, I hope it doesn't go flat on his face, face a, now. Are you going <laughs> to give us a rendition of your, your quack? <laughs> there we go. Here we go, our final contest. <laughs> 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 It's a very strange talent. Gonna head back <laughs> over to Peter. Peter, this time you've got the duck. Is the duck going to do well this week? Yeah, I think the duck's gonna reclaim his place there in the top, the top three. Um, so hopefully, hopefully he reclaims his place in the top three. Do you think, Peter, you're going to do better than Dean in this competition? Um, on yeah, I'm pretty sure I am. Me and Dean are gonna have a scrap on the last week as well. So. Brilliant. So what is the duck singing, Peter? Uh, the duck is going to be singing Tears in Heaven.
the duck. I suppose we have to go to our head judge. He was looking forward to the duck. Uh, Kevin, did the duck Lee live up to your expectations? Uh, he's gone beyond them tonight, to be honest, guys. That song <laughs> was a massive, massive hit for Eric Clapton back in 1992. And it was a song that he wrote about his four-year-old son who'd been killed tragically uh, from a fall. And he performed it on MTV back in 1992, and the song just took off, won Grammy Awards on the back and the whole lot. And I think Duck, in fairness to him, was very respectful to that song tonight. It was bang on for me. Very, very impressed with the Duck. Lovely. Carmel, what did you make of the Duck this week? The Duck was fantastic tonight. Fantastic. Nice. In tune, perfect timing. Everything was A1. Nice one. Brilliant. It's yes. our final contestant, so we'll get something from all our judges. Anthony, what did you make of the duck? Yeah, I have to say, like, Eric Clapton's song, really enjoyed it. Um, nice and slow, tempo, you know, to it, I suppose. You know, we need something to keep us going the next night, wake us up a bit, you know, but sang it well. Um, yeah, really. Excellent. Excellent version. And Emer? Yeah, I thought it was a really good performance. I would have liked to have seen a little bit more energy from the singer, but uh, yes. and ends on a bit of a high. Okay. But good overall. Very good. So, judges, who is going to be top of the leaderboard from this week? Where what what will happen at the end of tonight is we will play whoever has received the most points this evening. So, whoever's whoever's got the most points this evening is going to play us out. So, judges, your scores for the duck, the duck this evening. A 10 from Carmel. Emer and Anthony are unsure. A 9 and a 9. I think that might have that might top the poll. I think that might have topped the poll this evening for the duck. Brilliant. So that does mean actually that tonight the duck got the, the most points this evening with 38. Very closely followed by the garlic with 36. But I think the evening that's in it, what we'll do is because Kevin is leaving us this evening um, before Marion joins us next week, what we might do is we'll actually play the duck and the garlic because I actually really enjoyed the garlic's version of yeah. that song as well. And it is 90s week. And like Anthony said, we want a bit of a, a bit of oomph and a bit of a boost. So Kevin, next week, Marion mm. Fitzgerald is joining us. And yeah. on week four and five, we have got country and irish what would you recommend for the singers to do well when you say country and irish uh there's a vast array of song and go and do uh you could go with anything from nathan carter to you too if you want so i i, I think the singers it'll suit a lot of them to be honest Energy is the key, yeah. I think. Yes. Yeah, so I think you you were, well, energy excited. as well. Yeah. But, but uh, I have to say, I was very impressed with garlic tonight again. 
Garlic uh, for me is another one to watch. Uh, yeah, yeah. To take on Bohemian Rhapsody. Not ma- there's not ma- not many of the twelve to take that on. A fair bit of garlic stepped up to the plate and had a go and did a good job on it. But just just to sum it up, and uh, actually, I think I'll, 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 to answer this. Everybody was kind of impressed with the garlic, and I'm sure the garlic's family, whoever they are, they're very proud of him. But what do you think it was about the garlic's performance overall that impressed yeah. you to give nines all round? And I suppose this this is a question I'm asking on behalf of the rest of the singers because I'm sure they're thinking. What was it that he done differently or better than them? I think he probably just that, brought that, a bit of entertainment to it, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. There's different parts to the song. It's broken up into different pieces. You know what I yeah. mean? There's the sad song part, the mid-tempo, up-tempo. It's all in that track. Great choice of song. But yeah. you need to be brave to take that one on. Freddie Mercury, yeah. one of the kings. You know? But again... Granted, he was like any brave and song and any big song like that, it could have went very, very bad as well, like we've seen tonight with some of them. Yes. Carmel, are you looking forward to country and Irish? It'll be right up your street. I know you're going to enjoy it. Are you looking forward to next week? I am looking forward to hearing a little bit of Mick Flavin, maybe. A bit of Mick Flavin? Why not? Why not? Why not? A bit of the old school yard for Carmel. No, you said I love that one, yeah. I love that one myself. Any, I love it. Any of the country singers, um, mm. Denver or any of those guys it would be good. Yeah, exactly. And, and of course, we have Emer again with us next week. Emer, Irish, up, right up your street. Do you think someone is going to hit the right notes next week and get a 10 from you? I definitely think so. I think you can have real fun with country as long as they keep the tempo up and we'll all be swinging. Exactly. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, we hope you enjoyed this evening. And Kevin, we want to say a massive thank you because this really means a lot. Thanks that you for joining us Gary. from Ocean FM and that Marion is going to join us for the next three weeks. It was a pleasure. I know everybody enjoyed hearing the years and all the, as David said, the jukebox of knowledge that you have. So, Kevin, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, and, Kevin. Yeah. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, guys. Great show. Just before you go, Anthony was just telling us there beforehand that everyone is emailing him, but he said the best way to contact him is call around to his house, knock on the door, and he's about to <laughs> Brilliant. Judge, you see you again. Thanks again, Kevin. <laughs> hey. Sorry. Sorry. See is you. your baby walking yet? Sorry? Is your baby walking yet? She is what I would call assisted walking. She She's walking with, with assistance. Oh, okay. God, God. She, she's not far Very off good. now. She's, Very like, good. she's like her mother. She's brave. <laughs> she, might, she might have to make an appearance one of the evenings, Carmen. You'd never know. You'd never know. Oh, I do. Yes. We will. We'll, we'll bring Love her down. We will. Brilliant. We'll see you all next week. And again, Kevin, thank you so much. See you all soon. Bye, guys. Thank you, everyone. Cheers, Bye. Bye. Take care. Kevin, Bye. while we have you on your own, oh. who's yeah. going to win the show? Okay. Now. Uh, mm-hmm. There's a couple of obvious obvious ones. The duck, garlic. Uh, I think the corn. They're the top three for me. Corn. But yeah. if you had corn to pick, serious if you had potential. a thousand euro going into Ladbrokes, who would you put it on? Uh, if I was a gambler, which I'm not, I would probably go the duck. He's done two out of two. We've been great from a duck. Cool. Brilliant. So it's the duck for Kevin. Kevin, thanks a million, yeah. and we'll see you very, very soon. No bother, guys. All right. Chat okay, soon, guys. Best of luck All with right. everything. Thanks, Dahi and Gary. Cheers. See you later. So Kevin thinks the duck will win. Kevin thinks the duck. Who knows? Who knows? He wants it's either the duck, the garlic, or the ice cream cone for him. I do agree with him there. And What's the ruler there? is right up the top. The ruler is right up the top as well. But They seem to forget about the ruler. Yeah, the ruler... 
just right up there and again with the with the great leadership that he has. But um I'd be inclined to agree with the air with Kevin. I know the gar the Garrick done very well and anyone that's willing to take on that song that he did, God only knows what he's gonna do next week and I'm looking forward to it. And um, that'll be the one I'd be looking forward to next week simply because he'd be capable of doing anything. And whether it works out or not, we don't know, but we'll see. Good. So mentors and singers next week up with the tempo that's what gets them excited up with the tempo we've had enough ballads enough flatliners so give us some tempo next week country and irish we'll have the singers from week one next week and then on week five we'll have the singers that sang on week two back to six and six and we'll have emer again joining us as our special guest judge and then from ocean fm for the next three weeks, we have Marion Fitzgerald joining us. So we are going to leave you this evening. I'm going to go first with the duck, and then we're going to finish on a high with the garlic, the two at the top of our leaderboard this evening. Dahi, see you soon. Good luck with the assisted walking. <laughs> see you Good soon. Night. Good night, everybody. Enjoy. Here's the duck and garlic. A bit of a mix. A bit of slow and a bit of crazy Here i'm gonna head back over to peter peter this time you've got the duck is the duck going to do well this week yeah i think the duck's gonna reclaim his place there in the top the top three um so hopefully hopefully he reclaims his place in the top three do you think peter you're going to do better than dean in this competition um on yeah i'm pretty sure i am me and dean are gonna have a scrap on the last week as well so brilliant so what is the duck singing peter uh the duck is going to be singing tears in heaven Beyond 
garlic we're doing they're doing absolutely brilliant and we're going to be doing uh bohemian rhapsody so uh, that's going to be uh, it's going to be one to watch are they going to be able to hit all the high notes tabby oh yeah yeah sure garlic's great for your voice they're going to be up there they're going to be it'll be so high it'll be like you know you'll need special hearing to be able to hear them <laughs> brilliant so over to garlic Solo with the weather man. Scaramouche, scaramouche. 
Will you do the Fandango? Galileo! 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 Fuckato! I'm just a poor boy, nobody loves me. Easy come, easy go, will you let me go? Mamma mia, mamma mia, mamma mia, let me go. For me, for me, for me. Give it to her! So you think you can stun me and spit in my eye? So you think you can love me and leave me to die? Just gotta get out, just gotta get right out of here.